The All American Half Pound. Beef Cure Beef Patty. Lettuce, tomato. Singles. Going. This is Singles Going Steady, the podcast dedicated to exploring great singles with a particular eye to the punk, new wave, and DIY eras of the last century. I'm Adrienne Madoc. And I'm Steve McGowan. We are in a band called The Beef People. We're from North and South Carolina, and we released a single in 1986 on our own Zub Records label. Uh, we are record collectors, and we're passionate, especially about the expression of pop music perfection that is the single recording. Exploring the mystery of what makes for a great single is what propelled us to begin this podcast. This is episode 022. And what single are we going steady with now? Ah, this is an interesting one. Uh, we have recently done The Undertones, and this is a band that shot off from The Undertones called That petrol emotion they're from um, northern ireland and they have an american singer um, they put out a number of records and the song we're going to listen to today the single is a cd single it's a british release uh, on virgin records it's called genius move it was uh, released between their second record Babel, and their third record end of the millennium and it's a standalone single, not available on anything else, and it's a, a killer tune. It's End of the Millennium Psychosis Blues? Blues, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Quite a long title there. Um, not not quite, um, you know, um, Fiona Apple length, but long enough. So we're going to talk about this, this cool um, kind of uh, mutated version of the undertones. Um, what was it that you read about them? It was if the undertones had discovered literature and art. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. And, and other forms, uh, other genres of music. They said, like, yes. Sly and right. uh, Family Stone. Captain Beefheart. Cap- yes. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. Can. Yes. Can. So uh, the, these guys are all over the map. But this is a great, great uh, song. I, uh, it's one of my favorites. So let's listen to a little bit of it now. This is That Petrol Emotion. And uh, it is a song called... Genius Move.
That Petrol Emotion, Genius Move, that was from 1987. Um, the track was, uh, some of the production on it was done by John Lecky, who we know from the Posey's first record, and uh, XTC, and the Dukes of Stratosphere, very famous producer. Um, it is on Virgin Records in the UK. Um, I like the use of the horns and everything in that. Um, it, the drum sound is killer. Uh, I like Steve Mack, the American guy's voice. He's got a real, um, he's not feel go, feel go sharky in any way. Yeah, and this isn't very undertones. No, it's not. And, and not at all. Like we were saying, they, they've discovered some new uh, new types of music. But it it's sure is a catchy single. Um, you're, it, it's, it's definitely an earworm. Um, the first That Petrol Emotions record was released on Demon Records, uh, Elvis Costello's label at the time. And uh, it was um, a little bit more undertonesy. And uh, as they went along, they got a little bit more experimental, and then they took a turn with the fourth record, Chemic Crazy, which was produced by Scott Litt. And um, that was a very kind of amazing pop record. And we'll talk about some of the songs on that in future, future podcasts. So what do you get out of this one? Well, I think uh, you were talking about uh, discovering art and literature. Yes. And certainly right out of the box, you get Slaughterhouse yeah. number five. Um, Good one. Yeah, so I guess they're wearing it on their sleeve mm-hmm. right there. Mm-hmm. Right yeah, I guess maybe having an American in the band might have... Right, get a little good American literature <laughs> reference right from the start. Yes, yes. Um, I love the guitar sounds on this. The drums are, are very heavy. Um, the thing about that petrol emotion was um, they, they definitely wanted to make you dance. Yeah, it's propulsive dance music, mm-hmm. and I think you get that from some of the mm-hmm. influences they're citing, like Sly right. and the Family Stone. Right. Mm-hmm. Dance to the music. Yes. Dummies. <laughs> I had the... Um, the pleasure of seeing that petrol motion once um, in Atlanta at um, somewhere downtown in Atlanta. I can't remember, but it was a, it was a good venue, and it, they had like strobe was it lights. The varsity? Was it? You know, I, I think varsity? I ate at the varsity, but <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think they were playing there. They weren't playing for hot dogs, and um, they had the strobe lights going, and it was kind of a pre-rave sort of thing but they were, were rocking it out and uh it, it was a very good show they 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 played a long time and they they expended a lot of energy and the music was was very good it was very uplifting and uh um i was really glad that i i, I made the effort to go see them because uh, they they weren't really around that long um i think the band lasted until the 90s the early 90s and uh 
this single again is a standalone uh, from 1987. So, uh, yeah, and, and uh, it's funny looking at the label. It says another Virgin <laughs> CD single, right. right? Because Virgin was trying to to break that as a genre, right? right. right? You know, we're, been, you we're, know, we're the CD single people. Eighty-seven vinyl was completely dead, and uh, they, they had to be a CD single, and. Uh, uh, you know, there's a there's a couple of them that Pedro Motion put a few out, and we have we have gone over a few CD singles already you know, on this podcast, and we are you know, kind of digesting singles or in EPs in any form that they have. So uh, it's funny to see how they're trying to sell it, and now things are back to right. <laughs> everybody wants vinyl singles now. Uh, the beef people have a few if you want one. So. Uh, <laughs> um, Again, that petrol motion, we talked about the undertones. It's kind of a natural mutation, progression, um, spin-off. Um, they put out a lot of good music. Genius Move is just one of the very excellent singles they've done, and we'll talk about some other ones later. Uh, anything else for you? Um, I, the cover is really mm-hmm. interesting. It's sort of like a... The version we have is right. a later version. There was an earlier one that caused some controversy. Yeah. I don't know if you want to... Uh, mm-hmm. That'll be an assignment for our yes. listeners to You'll try to, to discover what was wrong with that. Yeah. But it related to the troubles mm-hmm. um, in, in Northern Ireland. Right. Um, but this cover is... Uh, an interesting uh, pen and ink drawing mm-hmm. in the style of, of Chagall. Mm-hmm. It's uh, got some surrealism. Um, some Picasso type eyes there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it's beautiful. I guess yeah. it's a contr- uh, a compromise from the mm-hmm. one that they had earlier, mm-hmm. but um, it, it's a very arresting image. Yeah, even for a small little CD, um, you know, folder. It, it looks good. It looks like something that would be a great poster. And we'll have a link to that on the, the we will. website. We will. And there was a video for this song where the band was, is playing underwater in a, like a swimming pool. <laughs> it's kind of silly. As you do. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, but uh, that's a genius move, I guess. So uh, we'll, we'll link to that as well. You can, you can check that out. Can you hear anybody covering this? Now, this is a, that's a tough one because um, there's, there's, this is kind of a complicated... Uh, you know, uh, tight knit sort of thing. And, well, and Dancy. So, yeah. do you, th- um, you want to. Would Bruno Mars? Oh, wow. Some, I was just thinking somebody. Could you imagine if he yeah. tackled something like that? Yeah. He would funk it up. Can, yeah. That, I'd like that, to hear that. that. Yeah, me too. That would be good. That would be really good. Well, because clearly they were trying to reach for sort of a, yes. a, a funkier sound. Yes, but and sadly we, they are mostly from Northern Ireland. So. Right. It's the funkiest Northern yeah. Irelanders there are. You can't, you can't, you know, Irish. help it. Um, do you have a recommendation for today? Well, I was going to recommend um, do some reading on the Troubles in Ireland oh, <laughs> that I realized I hadn't done any <laughs> readings on the, the, the last uh, thing that I could uh, cite was Leon Earth's like, massive doorstop of a book, yes. Trinity, which was a multi-generational mm-hmm. tome um, novel, which I certainly don't recommend. Uh, nothing against Leon Earth, so, but it's quite dated. So your non-recommendation my non-rec- from Yeah, my... Don't recommend read. to avoid. Do not read Trinity unless you want a time capsule. Mm-hmm. That certainly would give you an idea of mm-hmm. kind of like what the mindset was mm-hmm. about. Or you could just read some James Joyce. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. even, or or um, William Butler Yeats. Yeah, I don't so know. That's a different Ireland. Yeats is always good. Um, my recommendation doesn't have anything to do with Ireland. It's mostly Greek. We are um, recording these these this batch of podcasts in Greenville, South Carolina, and uh, uh, Adrian has not been down here for some time. And the first place we went to, of course, was the Clock Drive-In over on uh, Wade Hampton. Got the chili cheeseburger and the half and half. <laughs> and <laughs> she, later, the revenge of the chili cheeseburger. She's paying for it now. <laughs> but, half uh, and half. The, the, half and half in, in these Greek um, yes. uh, drive-ins. Uh, that's half... half um, French fries. And half onion, onion rings. Onion rings, yes. And it is a grease fest, and it is fabulous. Um, I just got the regular cheeseburger. I didn't get the meat on you top of the cheeseburger. You only rent it. I know, yeah. I know. But, uh, yeah, the clock drive-in. There's a bunch of clocks in Greenville. There's a bunch of Pete's. 
Um, they're all run by the Greek people here, and they know how to cook, and they make great food. And uh, that's my recommendation if you're ever in Greenville. Go to a clock or a Pete's or both. And I recommend that you come um, prepared with, with something to deal. Yeah, have some time uh, and maybe, maybe get that. You need Trinity um, yeah, you in your need, restroom yeah, to deal yeah. with the consequences. Of you, you need, you know, unfettered bathroom access. Absolutely. That's definitely where we're at. So that's uh, Singles Going Steady for tonight. <laughs> the scatological yes. episode. <laughs> Ending on the, on the uh, bad note there. Um, this was 022. And That Petrol Emotion, Genius Move, check it out. Uh, And we will talk to you soon. See you soon. To learn more about the artists and recordings we just talked about, visit our website at zubrecords.com and click on the Singles Going Steady icon. You'll also find links to the persons, places, and things we recommend, and much more. You can find episodes of Singles Going Steady on our website or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Singles Going Steady is brought to you by the power and majesty of Zub Records. Zub Zub Records. Records. Smart Smart sounds for sharp sharp people. people.